if anyone's here. Live. All right. All right. Okay, we are live. What's what's going on? I feel like I'm very white here. Like I'm very like lighting is not my favorite right now. I feel like I'm very bright. Um but what's what's going on here? Wonder Child and Quay Mar Maharali. I can't pronounce them, so what's going on? Was here live. No fancy introduction. We're going to get into it. The Oilers have not been playing very well recently. Uh, we haven't had the outcomes we really want. Um, yeah. How we doing? Been two games in the NHL tonight. Um, the Ottawa Senators beat the Tampa Bay Lightning. And the Ducks are currently beating the Hurricanes 3-0. So, what I've learned from the Carolina Hurricanes game and Anaheim Ducks is that, you know, bad teams can beat good teams. How's it going? Uh, Oil fan is uh, ex-home from the group chat. Ex-home. All right, good. Good to see you, man. Uh, lightning up or what was? Lightning up or what? Lighting up. I'm so bad with words. Trade for Ethan Bear. Hello, uh, Lance Kane. How we doing? Well, I don't know if we're going to go trade for Ethan Bear. I personally would not want Ethan Bear on this Oilers roster. I think maybe two years ago I'd be fine, but his injury history has not been pretty. So, uh, but I do want to play a little bit of franchise mode, a little bit of hype once we get into uh, NHL. Chill and chill. I'm calling this chill and chill. Because we will get into chill, uh, chill with Waz, but I do want to go over the Oilers. Because I don't know, we're Oilers Nation. So... Um, trade Campbell and a first for Saros. We can try that. We can definitely try that. Um, go. Go. I like this. Ducks, Canes, quite high paced. Honestly, it has been. I, I haven't seen who scored for the Ducks. I have the game in the background here. Uh, see how it works with an elite starting goalie. Well... In NHL 24, Stu is 84 rated and Campbell is 83. Now, I don't want to be I want to make it a little bit realistic when we go into franchise mode. I don't want to trade players from the start. You know? Uh, trade for Adam Pellick or however you spell. Oh, that's a good shout, actually. Uh, before we get into anything, I wanted to go over what's been happening with the Oilers, especially last night's game. We already we already know what happened in the A1. You guys hopefully tuned into After Dark last night and they just they broke it down. But now that we're like you know nearly 24 hours away, we've kind of the dust has settled from last night. Let's talk about it because Oilers fans are all over the defense, the goaltending. Um, I have the website up here right now, Oilers Nation. Um. So, first things first, let's uh, dig into a couple of these articles. There's some key things here. Bag Milk wrote, wrote a nice article, which um, I think he pointed out a lot of excellent things with the Oilers. Trade for Clem Shady, maybe. We need cap space. Skinner's legit. He will start for Team Canada. One day. I love that, Lance. GG from McTux, man. Hello, Duck. How are you? GG as well. I thought you guys played fantastic. You guys caught me by surprise. I thought the, the Canucks put the sword a bit to us, especially in that first game. I thought the Oilers played better in the second game, but but where is the 5v5 scoring? Hello, Aaron Bordado. Boardsy. Good to see you. See ya. Um, the 5v5 scoring has been a little bit dry, I, I believe. Uh, through 120 minutes of play, the Oilers have only scored one goal at even strength. And it's a problem. When Leon Dreisel scored only 42 seconds of the game, I thought that goal was going to start a beautiful evening, and it did not. It kind of, as we were watching the game at Nation HQ, it's like, hell yeah, we're fired up. And then things just start, start to simmer a bit. And then uh, I think we were losing. Um, so we need to start better, just even strength, 5v5. Um, the defense has also been uh, a topic. They blew chunks. Exactly. Exactly. So. I want to play a clip uh, from the Warren, uh, the 2-0 that, uh, from yesterday, um, 
Bruce Kerlock pointed out something because a lot of people were blaming Darnell Nurse and Stuart Skinner for that goal, where it was actually Warren Fogle. It started from Warren Fogle. I'll bring up that clip in a minute here. Uh, also, Bag Milk did touch on Stuart Skinner, who, I mean, he 16 shots, four goals, not great. Uh, can I come watch the game on Nation HQ? I'll bring the beards. The beards. I'll let Bordsy handle that one. Um, what else have we got here? In between flashes. I do like that, uh, Bag Milk uh, said the hallway McLeod. Fogel's been interesting. I feel like he's bringing the speed, but not much else. These two have been brilliant. McLeod and Hallway together have been great, in my opinion. Um, if Woody leaves them longer together, they, they could build some chemistry. I just, I think the issue with that line right now is that they're not getting enough minutes, but I, I think it's hard to distribute the minutes at times when you do have McDavid and Leon Dreisel, because they're your main boys. They're like two, two of the best players in the world. And, you know, um, it was good to see the power play come back to life, starting to look like it's same old. Some people were thinking, oh, maybe it's figured out. Maybe it's not the same as last year. But, and also, the PK has been brutal to watch. I think the penalty kill has been one of the Achilles heel for the Oilers. I think I'm, I'm saying that right. I've been live in hallway. This hallway's been nice. It's just nice to have a few more minutes. Um, also, Evan Bouchard, he was a bit stinky. And I like the way Bag Milk said it. He's handled the puck like a live grenade. And the result has been some egregious giveaways. That's, that, I think that's the issue I have with the Oilers last night. Which is just Bouchard. Bouchard was noticeable. But it, it felt like the way they managed the puck was terrible like they would just like throw some hail marys darnell nurse i think is an example from their end and then you know it'll be a turnover and then the canucks would dominate possession and get a goal and good evening empire for hire good to see you. what's up gavin gavin with a great take also on always nation after dark on evander kane and hallway kane in my opinion i want to see him do well i want to see them some of that spiciness with that shot he has he's, he's got to start sizzling a bit i think he hasn't been. I think he's been a little quiet. Hyman maybe as well. I, I like Hyman. He's a workhorse. Um, so, got to tweet out the stream though. I have a bit of a one-man show here. So, um, there's a few other things I want to bring up here. We are live. Chill and chill. And breaking down the Oilers game. Everything Oilers. I should really be doing this stuff like before I go live. So this is a bad habit of mine. Oh. Uh, those canes can't trust them. <laughs> Um, another thing I wanted to bring up here was the Warren Fogle on uh, Twitter. We want to go to Twitter real quick. You guys are going to see my for you page on Twitter. It's not pretty. It is not pretty. Um, you go into my likes, which is a dangerous place sometimes. Um, so this is it. This is it. Uh, Bruce Kurlock pointed out what happened yesterday. Zach Lang has the goal on his page. All right, so this is one thing I wanted to point out on this goal. This was the 2 on 0, I believe. So Bruce Kurlock says, thanks for uh, Zach for posting this to remind me that Warren Fogel had two passing options on this play before deciding to shoot and completely miss a net. So here's the goal. Here's the play. All right. There you go. You have, I believe, Warren, no, that's Matthias Janmark. There's Warren, no, Janmark to Warren Fogel, I think. Warren Fogel fires the puck. Also, I don't know what Nurse and the whole defensive core is doing right here, but he fires the puck. I believe it goes around the corner, the boards. You're, you're acting, it's okay. You're acting like every twist you're That's who I am, man. And then there, there you go. 2 0. 2 0. Stu didn't really know what to do. He didn't really read it well enough. I mean, I think the Canucks did well in that to make him misread it. Yeah, like, with some Hontorio Momes. 
Uh, my issue here also with, with like Nurse is that he goes up so high. Like you do not have to be that high in my opinion. And like, the, the, like there's no one. I mean, Cody CC I believe is right there. I or is right there. I think I think Cody CC is right, right here. Is this the new descent? Maybe. Well, no, Sam Squatch. I think the issue here, honestly, is Warren Fogle just firing the puck. I think he's trying to hit the net, but I think instead goes around the boards and then 2 on 0. So I think it's more than just, you know, blaming the goalie, blaming the goaltending. I think it's, you know, the players need to be smarter with the puck. That's it. Warren Fogle can do much more. I understand he's trying to create a scoring chance. I understand that he's trying to get us a goal. But, you know, Hallway's right there. You can see. Um, I don't know who else he would pass to there. Maybe Nurse. Like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think Warren Fogle has a passing vision to do that. Settle does, but... But, yeah, and then in the same breath, also, like... What is Nurse doing so high? Then Cody CC. Then these guys are just here chilling. Oh, okay. 2 on 0. Let's go. Let's go. Nurse hauling ass. Credit to Nurse. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, skating extremely fast. But he just was in a terrible position. So, um, another thing a lot of people have been bringing up. Oh, hey, Lance. <laughs> you guys are legends, by the way. Thank you for tuning in. Um,. Another thing I wanted to bring up was, um, well, every, a lot of people tend to say, oh, four nothing ducks or four one, um, smash the label. Thank you so much, Gavin. A lot of people tend to bring up the fact that the Oilers need a shut down defenseman of some sort on the right side. So I, I tried Googling like the best shut down defenseman in the league right now. I, there's no like definite list. Um, the one thing I found recently, like the most accurate, is Daily Faceoff last year. Frank Cervalli put up a shutdown defenseman, uh, 2022. And here's some players maybe the Oilers can target, probably can't. Like I, I don't know who the Oilers could go and grab who's a shutdown defenseman to play on the right side instead of Cody Cece. So we'll take it to the net instead of passing it. Or I, I mean, I don't think he should have shot it, Sam Scratch. I think that's my thing. Well, I should have started drawing on like, the play like John, man. I'd love to, man. Um, but here are some of the best shutdown defensemen, uh, according to Daily Face. Now, this is a year ago. I don't know how accurate this is now. I don't know who the best are right now. But Aaron Ekblad, Oilers are not getting. Charlie McAvoy, the Oilers are not getting. Fulton Pareko will not be an Oiler. Yetrel Angelo, butcher that name, won't be an Oiler. Kenzie Week, like... A lot of these guys are not going to be Empton Oilers. Um, Adam Larson, especially on the right side, because I have the line combos here. I think the right side is Cody CC is where a lot of people want to see the improvement on on the blue line. Who do you replace him with? Maybe I am the new John Madden. I'd love to be the new John Madden. The John Madden of Oilers Nation. No, there's a lot of interesting names on this list. This is 2022. You have. Um, Travis Sanheim in Philly. He's a lefty. Um, I'd like Waz to call my plays. I'm not sure calls, but I'll break them down maybe. Or I, I don't even know if I'm that smart. But uh, Damon Severson, another New Jersey Devil. I'm pretty sure he resigned. Yeah. But yeah, a few of the Devils are on here. You have Severson. And you have Jonas Siegenhalter, who I like. Um, so if he can play on the right side, I don't know. Maybe that's an option, but I don't think New Jersey would want to give up. And a lot of the players on this list, I don't think anyone would really want to give up. Like Adam Larson saw, and like a lot of these guys are... Who's the oldest guy on this list? TJ Brody at 32. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know who the best shutdown DR right now in the NHL. Um, so, with that being said... I might move on to Chell here. I don't think there's anything else I really want to bring up at the moment. Um, the Oilers lines, by the way, uh, according to Daily Faceoff. Uh, he's on the Columbus... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he was, he was very expensive. Um, Evander Kane, Connor McDavid, Connor Brown. Of course. Uh, is there any changes you guys want to see the lineups right now? Like, is Kane, McDavid, Brown. 
Nuge, Dry Settle, Hyman. I like the second line, to be honest. I think I would prefer to see Hyman on the top line with McDavid, but the third line has been looking good. I don't like Fogel. We kind of picked part, uh, picked apart there. Uh, the fourth line has had a lot of, has not had a lot of love from Oilers fans on social media, especially Twitter. Uh, Matthias Janmark is one name because he's supposed to be a PK specialist. I don't know what else Matthias Janmark does. No offense. He's fast. Derek Ryan, we all know how good he is. My love aside from him, honestly, just a solid bottom six player. Um, just a very, very cerebral, cerebral player, I think that's the word. Uh, Adam Earn, he's been looking all right. Uh, do you prefer Broberg or Vinny as our sixth defenseman who keep running uh, 12 and 6? That's a great question. I think it's situational. DRNA and Broberg. I think it kind of depends on your matchups. Like... Darren A brings in that kind of grittiness, toughness, a little bit of fear. Like, he'll mess people up. Broberg, I think he's a bit more smarter with the puck. He can move the puck better. Um, also needs a bit more minutes. So, Yanmark play well. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of Yanmark is, does, I think the guy needs a little more love. I think a lot of Oilers fans are just shit on him. Like, get this guy off our lineup. Put in Lavoie. You put in Lavoie in this team, he's not going to be playing any minutes. Rapoi Lavoie is going to be playing maybe five to seven minutes a game, probably, on that fourth line. How many minutes are this? You know, I don't think, I think Raphael Lavoie, he's going to marinate in Bakersfield and he'll come up and do well, I, I hope. Um, also, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put these lines in NHL 24 in franchise mode and see how they do and make changes along the way because, yeah. So I'll, I'll put that to the side. I uh, hope you guys don't mind the lo-fi jazz music. I, I don't know if you can even hear it. But I also don't know what to put for music for these streams. Um, so let's go play some chell. I'll show you my hut team. I mean, I, I've been digging in the hut recently. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I don't think there's a massive panic with the Oilers. I just think defensively they've been a, a bit of a mess. And the, the team just hasn't been handling the puck well enough. I think the Oilers, if they want to cause some damage, they need to be able to possess the puck. And be less in their zone. And be in the other team's zone more so, I think. Lo-Fi sounds good. Oh, hell yeah. That's what we'd like to hear, Gavin. Uh, Gavin, do you have Chell yet? I don't know if you do. I know Aaron does. Uh, Anaheim Ducks are currently beating Stanley Cup contenders. Uh... This is funny, actually. A lot of the oil, a lot of people are shitting on the Oilers for having a shitty start of the year. No credit to the Canes; they've had a good start. But you know, the Canes are a Stanley Cup contender, and they're losing four-one to the Anaheim Ducks, who are projected to get seventh in the Pacific by many. Blow up the Canes! Get rid of them! Trade everybody! Canes, they're not, they're not making the playoffs. They're losing to the Ducks four-one. Uh, pretty sure NHL players shape my music taste. Fair and oh, NHL six kind of helped me with that. Doing the gameplays, uh, played Norwegian death metal. That sounds fantastic. I would play other music, but copyright is an issue. So I will also show you guys my hut team. I don't know if you guys are really big in the hut, but um, I've kind of been enjoying it a bit more. Like I've noticed with NHL twenty four, this is with any game for me, is that. When I'm winning in NHL and HUT, I'm having so much fun. Like, this is great. We're doing well. The minute I lose a game, I want to punch my monitor and never play this game. I want to uninstall immediately. Like, I'm a sore loser. I won't lie. Uh, Canes also have their back of a net or on a second of a... Oh, okay, you know what, Michael? You know what, Michael? You didn't, you didn't have to do that to me, man. I was feeling confident in that take. Um, Brand Cutler. Look at that muzzy. That's a good-looking man, Brandon Cutler, for the Colorado Eagles. I believe that's an ECHL team. Oli Liss. This guy actually's got decent stats. How old are you? Are you a good prospect for Chell? He's six foot. He's twenty-three. Oh, interesting. He's got a couple. All oh, right. This guy's kind of fast. Your sound gone? Hello. I 
Oh, my sound's gone. I go, okay, thank you, Michael. Yeah, I was scared there. Okay, thank God. I'm like, do I have to turn on music? Uh, store, I have a pack. What's this unopened pack? By the way, I did not get the like the deluxe edition of NHL 24. That's like 120 bucks. I'm okay. 82 overall choice pack. Why? Why do I have this? I'll, I'll open it. I don't know why I have it. Um, Seth Jones. Oh, that's a good show. Guys, help me choose. Who, who do I pick here? Um, Chris Letang. Evgeny Kuznetsov. Pavel Buchnevich. He's aight. Seth Jones is aight. Letang. I kind of want to go to Evgeny Kuznetsov. Get off your wallet, Waz. Shh. Um... Jones, Fortnite God two nine eight one eight. Thank you for joining, uh, Seth Jones. Who's he? I think I need more defense. I'll go. I'll go with Seth Jones. We'll go Seth Jones. Confirm. Isn't that guy getting paid just as a mat? Oh, oh, okay. I don't know why I need a mat animation for an eighty two rated. Um, isn't Seth Jones also making like the same amount as Darnell Nurse or around there? Seth Jones even that good? Or is, he, is Chicago just bad? Uh, but let me show you guys my team. In shall. It's not fantastic. I have spent like maybe 10 bucks on packs just because I wanted to get some better players. We have Jack Hughes. Things untradeable. We have Al Shemsky on the top line. Yurash Sofkovsky. Now wait, this is where it gets interesting. We've got Quinton Byfield. Matias Michelli. I love Matias Michelli. I think he's going to be awesome for the Coyotes. Uh... We enjoy the animations. Thank you. Uh, Yvonne Cornoyer. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Yvonne Cornoyer. Uh, we've got Craig Smith for whatever reason. Nick Dowd. Future Edmonton Oiler. And Jan Kovar. Okay, this is a really weird third line. I won't lie. And then we've got... To be honest, I'm gonna we're going to do some quick swaps here. This is going to be the third line. Okay, we've got we got McLeod. I don't know if these are lo-fi uh, music is really you know. Anyways, got distracted there. So our third line is gonna be Derek Ryan, Ryan McLeod, and um, Capo Caco, which is very strange, but whatever. That's, that's really all I got for forwards, to be honest. My defense is not too bad. I got Keandre Miller. I've got Maury Sider. I've got T.S. Ekholm, Bouchard, and Vinny Darnay, who's getting removed and replaced with Seth Jones. So, hi from Stony Plain. What's up? Hello, Raval. Good to see you, buddy. I do want to kind of change up the music. I, I, I honestly, I can't vibe and like, I can't play NHL with this kind of music, I feel. I, I need something copyright free. So we're going to change it to maybe a synth wave. I like synth music. I don't know why. Um, Two-hour retro... Oh, this is nice. I kind of like this. There we go. I think the lighting needs to be better. All right. I think we're ready to play some chill. This is kind of getting me more amped up. Got some drums in there. Play so, a bit of chill. I'm, I, I, I've been, I'm enjoying Hut a bit more. I won't lie. I don't know why. Until I lose a game. Let's see how long it takes me to lose a game in Hut Rivals. And then we'll, we'll, we'll hop into... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll hop onto uh, Franchise Mode. But I have been vibing with Hut recently. I don't know why. So. Alright, we're going to the game.
Star Bench Cut. CC Bear Benning. That's actually great. I don't think the Oilers should bring back Ethan Bear. Uh, I, I didn't mind him during his time with the Oilers. But I think since leaving Edmonton, Bear has not been great. Like injury-wise, like health-wise, Ethan Bear is not perfect. So I, I would not start. I, 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 I don't know. I think I might have to go start CC. Bench. Manning. Wait, Manning? What? Benning, Benning, so I'm Brandon Manning. I bet, I, I'd bench Manning. Yeah. If it's during their time with the Oilers, maybe I'd go CC, Bear, Manning. Michael like that. Scratch, I like that actually. Not, no, not, well, yeah. Those are always fun questions to ask people though. Like on the street or just like in general. Like we gotta do that more stuff with the nation. All right, here we go. We gotta work. Jack Hughes. Oh, that's a penalty. Some of this music is actually kind of vibing with me right now. I hope it's not too loud. Uh, who on earth is starting Bear over CC? Trust me, man. Trust me, man. Start a battle. Hello. Um, trust me, man. There's a like, contingent of Oilers fans who think getting rid of Bear is the worst mistake this franchise has made. There is a group of Warriors fans out there who really love, like, you know, the Caleb Jones, the Yessa Um Oh, there you go. Great defensive play. The Ethan Bears. I, I was still open to having Ethan Bears in Oilers. I, I, I liked him. I thought I got way too much flack for that playoff game. Like, out, out of Pugliarvi... Bear and Caleb Jones? That's a better question to ask. Who would you rather still have? I think I'd rather have Ethan Bear. Hell, health, healthy Ethan Bear. Like, I think he was a decent, like, depth defenseman. I thought he was, like, developing well. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. There's... Uh, Caleb Jones couldn't even make the Hawks line. Caleb Jones, is he still like, who's he, where's he playing? That's okay. Caleb Jones had great analytics. Therefore, he should be on a Stanley Cup contender. I have nothing against analytics. Well, maybe. I, I, oh, big save Dwayne Rolson. By the way, I have Dwayne Rolson in that. We had to have Dwayne Rolson in that. Oh, hello. I don't know how to score in this game. This feels like a John Wick um, track. A oh, big block. Let's go. Who's number 55 for my team? I don't even know. Yvonne. Dukes. My, my good friend from Australia. Roll. Yeah, I've got Dwayne Rolson in that. He's 80 rated in this game, but. Or he's 80 rated in Hut. The reason they give icon like some icons in Hut low rating is, is so that they can give them like a bunch of upgrade cards throughout the year. Yeah, I, I saw somebody comment in my videos like, well, why is this guy like 75 rated? It's because like I think Jason Smith is like 80, 79 rated. Oh Jesus Christ, Michael Kerber. Yeah, I didn't really like. I didn't really care for Caleb Jones. That was the one prospect. Like I I, I like the fact that we kind of developed him a bit. But I don't think there's a really a f much of a future for Caleb Jones on the Ampton Oilers. Yes, a pool RV also healthy. Like if he had functioning hips, I think would be pretty decent still. I think his hips were like I I, I remember yes a pool RV twenty one twenty two season. This is when the league was canceling games because of COVID still and stuff. Like he was all right. <laughs> Ski bum. <laughs> um, I, the one my girlfriend works at. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if you're asking that because of my girlfriend. Oh, nice. Uh, 
Uh, join, yeah, join the Discord if anyone has a link. Stop being a cop in the Discord and just be a member. What are you, I'm not being a cop. I just don't go in Discord much. Bear was better than 100%. That's just true. I, I don't like in 2017 to 20, like 20. I was a big Discord guy. I don't know. I just got busy. I don't know. I'm in. I, I have so many Discords. I should show you guys. Like I just have a bunch of notifications. Oh God, Dwayne Rolson, big save. Rolly. Bear was better than Jones. My girlfriend just said that her mom wants to make me steak and lobster tomorrow. I say yes. Uh, the only correct answer is to start Gaetan Haas. Where is he playing? Oh, Dwayne Rolson. What a save by Rolly. Shades of 06. Take a look at that. Take a bow, Rolly. That was a dark time in Oilers history. Like during the McDavid era when you had Gaetan Haas and Joachim Nygaard. Like if people think the fourth line is bad now. We had to deal with that. Like the Oilers, I think I'm a pretty comfortable, decent top nine. If properly managed. Evan Bouchard. All right, buddy, what are you doing? I am like this is I'm playing like the orders from last night. We're tr we're having trouble handling the puck. A big like Rolson's coming up clutch here. Oh, whoosh. We're going to collapse the crease. That's our that's our game strategy. Collapse the crease. That's what the Canucks are doing. Also, do any of you guys have Chell? Like PS4, Xbox Series X? I, I want to do more World, World of Chell content, but... Oh, come on, Yvonne. Oh. Uh, they were decent pickups at the time, but Holland... By Holland. Oh, that's true, actually. Nathan Walker, I would be open. I think he's all right. There you go. Oh, big crunch and hit there. There you go. Emski. Oh, Alish Hemsky should have finished that. We're in the third period right now. Haas is with EHC Bjelmbjörn in the Swiss League. I thought that was going to be a German team. I won't lie. We need to bring back Nathan Lodge. Uh The only reason we need better defense and goaltending for Stanley Cup tenders, Duck. Um, I don't know about well, goaltenders. I mean, if you're talking about like, in the moment, yeah, the goaltending needs to be better. Defensively, who would you want to pick up? I know you'd want to trade, like, what, a CC, a nurse, I imagine. A lot of people like to get um, I think the Oilers don't need better defensemen. I think they need to play better defense as a team. But there's, it's just we're like I've mentioned before. I think we're just handling the puck pretty poorly as a team. Um, I, I totally get where you're coming from. I want Campbell and Skinner to be better. But like I mentioned this before, did you expect? Aiden Hill to win a Stanley Cup with the Colorado Avalanche, the Vegas Golden Knights. I didn't. Oh God. Let's focus a bit here. Oh my God, what is this passing? That's Edmonton Oilers, great passing right there. That's the thing with the Oilers, they just don't pass the puck well sometimes. They do too many Hail Marys, in my opinion.
but more bars. Oh, that's a goal. No, 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 that's that's not a goal. Thanks for Vegas to win a cup at all. Thank you. Honestly, I've been I've been starting to enjoy NHL 24. Um, but I think Duck, if the Oilers are gonna acquire like a defenseman of any sorts, it'll probably be at the deadline. I, I remember last year the Oilers fans were clamoring for a trade in like I think November, December, January. And we did realistically you don't get big trades in the middle of the season, I think. Like not in today's NHL. Oh, come on. Come on, boys. We're about to lose one nothing. Crash net. Ah, oh, we lost one nothing. Yeah, that's a great point, Dukes. I think Dukes makes a great point there. I think a lot of people thought the Oilers were going to walk that series. Like, oh, LB's gone. We're, we've got the series. And we're just going to hammer Aiden Hill. And Aiden Hill, on the other hand, I think... Um, Proved a lot of us wrong. I need to look at his save percentage and his uh, GAA in that series. So, but I, I, I'm just kind of that guy. I, I, I think we have the right players. It's just how do we get them to work well? Bouchard, he's handled the puck better. Um. Nurse needs to handle the puck better. Like, Nurse is... I want to root for Darnell Nurse, but sometimes I watch this guy play. I'm like, dude, just play defense for a bit. I think Darnell Nurse, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of defenseman he wants to be sometime. Like, I don't want to be that guy. And like, I don't want to piss on him, and I don't want to say, oh, he sucks, he sucks. He's, well, he's not worth the money, but... I, I think you guys know what I'm saying. Good old Darnell Nurse. I don't like him with Cody CC. I just think they're a terrible pairing. Terrible pairing. I, I don't know who you, what kind of replacement you would get for Cody CC right now, or by the. I, I think we'll have a better idea at the deadline on who can maybe fill those shoes. Uh, Derek Ryan with line number cloud. I'm just looking at some of the lines. I think Connor Brown, I'm surprised uh, how, I mean, it's only been two games, right? It's only been two games. I think Connor Brown could be, I haven't really noticed him much on the ice. Boy, this play. I, I, I don't, honestly, I think the Oilers offensively just need to be a bit tighter on, with the puck. That's been my big grip is that our handling puck has been, we've been, been mismanaging, ma mismanaging, it. even though we got like 40 shots the other day. So, but it's been a long year. What's up, Maj? Good to see you. I'd rather have a nurse be a 10 point full on defensive defender instead of whatever he is right now. Thank you, Michael. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I think Darnell Nurse has all, you know, the physical attributes, skill sets to be a good defensive defenseman or like at least shut down. Like just be a little bit more physical. Be smart with the stick. I'm look, I'm not a professional hockey player. I'm not a coach or anything. I'm just I'm seeing it through the eyes of a fan. Okay, can we find a game or no? So. By the way, I'm not great when it comes to Chell. That's why I'm in Silver. But I want to try and play one more game of Hut and then go into some franchise mode. Yanmark was the MVP. Come on, be realistic here. Yeah, Matt Mash, I don't I don't know why you love Yanmark. It's like when people ask me, why do you love Derek Ryan? To be fair, I see a lot more um chirps more more Yanmark chirps than anything. Do you ever say these things to Tyler? Not really, no. No. I mean Tyler, I think knows hockey a bit better than me. Be honest, but that's just me. All right, what, 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 who are we going up against here? Free to play. He's got Bertuzzi, Huberdeau, and oh, he's a Flames fan. He 
least he's playing free to play. That's good to see. You know, one player I don't see get a ton of love though from the fan base like, in general. Like, I don't see a lot of Warren Fogel fans. Originally, when the Oilers got Warren Fogel from the Hurricanes, I was actually pretty excited for him. Elective Barry wants to play with me. Who's Elective Barry? Oh, that's a pat. Um, generally, the office is pretty good for takes. And usually, Tyler's busy with on a show, anyways, and I'm usually busy making content, right? So, and if anything, I like getting Tyler's takes for social media because he's very good at like. This word I'm looking for. Tyler is just able to like be a one take king. Like if I can ask him, hey Tyler, give me your thoughts on this. And he'll like give me a good 30 second, one minute explanation. And I love that. For me, I sometimes have to like pause and think, and, especially when recording content. On streams, I'm a bit better. I don't get it. Like Tyler's very good at explaining himself, which is awesome. Like formulating a thought and then putting it into... <laughs> A penalty? Well, I have a power play. Okay. Yeah, true. I just, I, uh, I like Fogo, but I wish you could fit, hit the net. Yeah, that's the one issue with Fogo, I think. It's his puck handling and shooting. I think his speed is fine. I think he's a hard worker. Remember the playoffs last year, how like he was buzzing? That's a Warren Fogo we need. Or this power play. Oh, there you go. Oh, big hip check. Oh, nice little chip over. Okay. Cheeky. Oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Get the puck in the net. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's a great way of putting it, Lance. Tyler is good at it, articulating his opinion. There you go. I don't like the flashlights. Oh, neither do I, Duck. I think, I wish you could turn that off. That's my issue with NHL. One of my issues with NHL 24 is that I think the menus have been faster. I don't know if they did anything, but when you go into like World of Child, the menus are very slow. Um. Oh, let's get that in. McLeod. Also, I know the Call of Duty beta was out for Modern Warfare 3. I was going to download that, but I also don't want to wait to... Oh, okay. McLeod. Ah. I'll, I'll go on the franchise mode here and start actually... Like, I wanna, I've, I've done a lot of simulations in franchise mode recently. Like, just kind of like tests. And I'm going to do like a little... Let's see how we do. I know Gavin, Aaron, and I have been talking, and we we're thinking of doing some World of Chell content, like off-stream stuff, and like I think that'd be a lot of fun. World of Chell can be hilarious. There you go, nice. Jack Hughes. Oh, what is what is this? Speaking of Jack Hughes, I think he's one of the more most entertaining players in the NHL. I think he's up there with McDavid right now. McDavid, McKinnon, Matthews, and Jack Hughes. I would say maybe I'll, I, of course, you gotta put Drysaddle on there. I don't think Drysaddle is as flashy. He, I think he tries it. His passing is unbelievable. Drysaddle. Shitty rebound, Nazem Kadri. How dare you? Do? What does this guy go to full flames lineup?
Chris Tanev. That's a player I'd like to only with. Hello, Tiffany. Yeah, I think this guy's got a full Flames lineup with Nils Amon. I guess Flames players are pretty cheap and shell. Not surprising. Oh, come on. How, where, where was I going? Come on. Jake, how we doing? Hold on, I'll get to your comment in a second here. Can we defend, please? I don't want to lose to I don't want to lose to a flames fan on the street. Kate, what is See my passing is just like the Oilers. We just send hand grenades down the ice. Then we get turnovers like nothing. Of course. Come on. Greg YT. Who is better, Gavin or Spencer? Who has better game? I, I would go Gavin. I'm confident the Oilers can be 2-2 on the season. Oh, it, definitely. I mean, Philly is a beatable team. Nashville is not great. Tyson Berry also, hello. Uh, Derek Ryan wins a face-off. Derek Ryan get the goal. Well, that's a shame. We're going into the third, down one. Oh, gee, icing. Also, guys, hit that like button if you haven't already, please. DR, McLeod, and... Uh, I need a better third line player with Derek Ryan. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is there been any teams that have uh, surprised you guys so far in the NHL? Like any teams that caught your eye? Senators, I think, have been having a good start. There we go. Honestly, what I'm learning is that I like going live on these Sundays. These Sundays are fun to go live on. Oh, I'm, uh, buddy just tried to Michigan me. Nice. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my goodness. Hey, uh Why does every team's backup play like hashing against the Oilers skipper? Good question. Hold on. The Canucks did. Fair enough. I'm um, bringing up the chat here. Um, I actually, um, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring that up recently. So Tyler pointed out to me on uh, Twitter the like goalies who've performed well against the Oilers in the last few years. Um, like who? I'll bring it up. It's very interesting. Oh, come on. How is that not a goal? I am getting goalie here. Are you right? Montreal, to be honest. Oh, I'm, I, I, I've honestly been like a slow, f I've been a little bit of a fan of Montreal. I also really like the Habs fan base. I know not everyone does. Can you get Derek Roy in this game? You can actually. Derek Roy is in the game. Um, he's like one of those icons. Come on. Is he time wasting? Is he time wasting? Oh, come on, man. I understand good puck management, good game management. This is a little bit annoying. I get it. You know, you're a free-to-play account. 
that's, that's a tad annoying. We got 12 seconds here. Can we tie the game? Come on, Bouchard. Oh, I blew it. I blew it. Uh, that, that was it. What? Come on. <laughs> Lost two games now. One nothing in a row. There's nobody online Madden right now. This is how many people play online Madden? Finish the game. I'm let's switch up here. I'm gonna show you guys an interesting stat of Oilers that or goalies that have goalied us. Um, display. Here we are. I'm gonna turn down the music. I don't know how loud it is. I don't know how loud my music is right now. Um. All right, Tyler Uramchuk. He brought up a fun stat that I should have brought up earlier. So, also, happy birthday, Tyler. Um, here are their top, here is the top 10 save percentage for goalies against the Oilers in the last three years. Minimum three games played. So, Carey Price is number one, surprisingly. Jack Campbell's on this list. Uh, Ilya Sorokin. Lucas Dostal, Jonas Corposalo, Carter Hart, Phoenix Copley, Spencer Martin, Laurent Brassois, and uh, Marc-Andre Fleury. So a lot of starters are on this list. Not really a lot of backups. And I imagine, you know, backups have played one game or two games against the Oilers. So, um, but there you go. These are the, the goalies that goalie the Oilers the most recently. Uh, I think Waz could drive a mean forklift. Uh, get a line of Derek Roy, Derek Ryan, and Derek Broussard. I can do that. Finally found a game. Congratulations. Uh, one second, guys. Let me get a little bit more water. Take a look at this fun little stat by Tyler. Here. I'm checking. My cat's in the background. I move around. All right, I'm back. May have lost a few viewers. That's okay. I gotta stop view, uh, focusing on viewer count because sometimes uh, that's I don't know why it bothers me. Viewer count. Um, is there a way I can just pop up the chats? I don't like looking at the count. I like just pop up dashboard. Okay, just pop up the chat. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get back to some chill. Let's go play some franchise mode. So, nobody likes to get goalie, but the Oilers unfortunately do get a little bit goalie. Ducks ran a four-two. Um, I am not good at chill. We can see. But I have been wanting to get into more franchise mode in general. I feel like I don't play this mode enough. Hey, Dilly, Dylan Hollywood's in the chat. Lucas Dolk still, still has 24 saves versus Kansas City. Dolstal is a very good up and coming goalie, I think. I, I think we shouldn't sleep on him. Um, He's a goalie to watch. Like, if the Warriors wanted a goalie, that'd be one guy. Um, Play now. Let's go franchise mode. New Oilers. We're not going to mess around too much with the settings. Um, maybe we will. I'm not sure. 
If you guys play a lot of franchise mode, please let me know. Uh, would Jay or Wanya in a fight? Uh, I would go Jay. Uh, GM Waz. Uh, when will Beer Pro? If you want to see Beer Pro, I I'd be open to that. Uh, always get, always get by some third string that plays like Dom. That is so true, Jake. And then you just, I mean, <laughs> Lucas Dose style is, I don't think, really a third string anymore. Um, by the way, if you guys want to see, like, um, so I'm going to turn off owner mode and player morale. I, those are, I don't like. Um, head coach edit lines off. Um, CPU trades on. Cool. For settings, we're going to do, um, I don't, I don't mind having injuries on. Happens a lot though. That's my issue. So if I can tone down, um, trade difficulty hard. Um, we're gonna put um, gonna goalie come to play against McDavid. We just have to accept goalie. That's actually a good point, Lance Kane. I used to buy chill, just chill, or play with friends. Most of that. That's what we're gonna try and do with the the nation. Um. Who would win the fight? Bag Milk or Tyler? Started, my, my doorbell started ringing at like 9 p.m. I don't know why. So, um, I've played a lot of franchise mode on NHL 2K9 on the Wii. That's a throwback. Holy shit. You'd always trade Vishnovsky for Duncan Keith, Sam Gagne, you always wins the rocket. Uh, but I would go with um, Bag Milk. I think would beat Tyler in a fight. Um, goalies come to play against McDavid. That's also very true. That That's a good way of looking at it, in my opinion. I used to buy NHL just for Chell. I play with friends most nights. I used to play a lot of uh, Chell with friends when I was younger, especially like Chell 12 and 11 back then. Not as much as, I, as we've gotten older, but I, I like to get back into playing World of Chell with friends. It's always a good time. Um, let's see here. I got a list of like settings to play Chell. GMO, it's Sim Engine. Where's Sim Engine? I've brought up that a lot. Um, difficulty pro. I'm not great at the game. Um, quick settings. Advanced settings. I think this is where I have to go into. Draft class, low and low. I want. I, I don't know. I want to be a little bit realistic. If that makes sense. Sim engine medium. No, I'm streaming. Please. I don't have any. I I don't know where that is. Uh, some engine scoring. Shot frequency high. Would a uh, win in fight bag milk and dukes? Also, sorry about that, guys. My dad was asking for something. Coombs your watch. Oh, I would say Coombs. He's a big lad. Minor league head coach, yes. Sim engine medium. Although the one thing I saw a YouTuber do, uh, Tactics HD, he, let me see here. Attribute effects. He put that on 9 out of 10. So I'm interested to see what that will do to the scoring. Gavin or Jay? I want to say Gavin. Gavin's pretty jacked. That's a fact. Anyways, let's start our franchise mode with the Empted Oilers. Let's see how long uh, it takes for us to win the Stanley Cup. Was his dad or Tyler's dad? Ooh. I'll be honest. My, my, maybe my dad. My, I think my dad's older. There we go. 
Now, I don't really care too much for the um, preseason in this game. We're going to try and skip that. I kind of want to make the lines pretty accurate to what the Oilers are rocking right now for a bit and just see how it does, actually. So. McDavid. Uh, I don't I don't want to trade Matvey Petrov. Also, one thing I've noticed in Chell is that there's way too many trades happening. Like, too many teams are sending you trades. Like, this is unrealistic. The amount of trades, I believe, that are being sent. I, I, I would love to actually know from NHL GMs. How often do you get trade requests? I don't think anyone ever asks that. Zach versus Dan. Dan. Yeah. Uh, kickflip. I'm the kickflip. Probably uh, Gavin. That's in Dylan Hallway. Fantastic player. Uh, the head coach can help. Would you like? No. Off. Throw Hallway up with McDavid because we'll see it more than real life. This is true, actually, Jake. But we want to see how that third line buzzes. Also, Sam Gagne. Gonna scratch it, buddy. Just because you're not with the actual team. Uh, Derek Ryan's a fourth line. Cloud. Center. There we go. Uh, Matias Janmark is on that fourth line with... Um, is Adam Earn on the on this Oilers team? Or no? I don't think actually Adam Earn is with the Oilers in this game. Um, so, I guess we'll put Sam Gagne. So, instead of Adam Earn, we have Sam Gagne. Fine, we'll do that. I think that's a good fourth line. I don't, I don't think you guys can see, but we have Sam Gagne on the fourth. You guys can. Are you a trade blocker? Oh, thank you, Michael. Then I will. So I, I don't like all these trades. Um, There we go. This is what the, the lines are supposed to look like, it seems. These are the more realistic or there's lines in challenge. And of course, Dylan Holloway. I'd like to see what he does like on McDavid's line. Uh, power play. Uh, defense, defense, where's defense? Even strength. There we go. Navigating the lines in NHL is a very normal. On defense in real life, right now it's Matthias Ekholm on the first pair. With Bouchard. CC, there we go. Cool, there we go. And Vincent Darren is scratched. So that's that's what we'll do. Let's go try it out. First game of the season against the Canucks obviously went very poor uh, for us in real life. So let's simulate that game. Also, a trade block. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, proposed trade. Uh, who at Owen would win a 100-meter foot race? I would say Gavin. Gavin's like the most athletic. Gavin or Aaron. Tyler versus Kennedy. Kennedy. Amazing how many of you guys actually just know the Owen staff. I love it. Uh, Brow is a trading block. Um... How do I how do I clear my trading block? Assets in the block I clear in my trade block. Fuck. Don't know how this game works. Proposed trade? Ross removed trade players. Okay. Oh, Gavin is... Gavin is a very athletic man. Like, he is jacked. Back out. Oh, thank you. Pickle. Uh, but let's send the first game of the season. Just see how things go. 3-0 where this should have been. 
There we go. That that's what the seasoning that's what the season opening night game should have been. Next two. This more often. Thank you, Dylan Hollywood. I will. So first game of the season we beat the Canucks 6-2. Should have been real life. Should have been. Um trade players. Michael. I'm trying to find block. Or do we add item? Info? Uh-oh. Let's just sim a few of the first couple of games of the season and see how things go. Sim up to Jan- uh, Actually, let's sim up to December. December 15th. What time Liam came in Discord? That was my Super Bowl. I need, I like I've said, I need to be in there more. Uh, oh, there we go. Decline and edit train block. Uh, there we go. Remove asset, remove asset, remove asset, remove asset. Thing. I don't have anyone on the train block. Thank you. I've talked to them multiple times. Me some Saturday. Oh, Caroline and Mike are amazing. Uh, she's doing her own thing now with soccer, I believe. Oh, so, good for her. Good for her. I thought I just added my trade block. Do people just want my players now? No. Caroline's a sweetheart. She's she's awesome. Liam versus Air. Uh, that's actually a great one. Anyone who plays Madden is it? I have never played Madden. I don't understand football that well. I I, I try watching football. I feel like there's too much going on for me. <laughs> um. Hey, credit, credit to Connor. He's doing uh, the Sports 1440 stuff now, so he doesn't have time. I asked him if he was doing the uh, show, but I'm happy that he's kind of a part of our network. Um, anyways. What's happening here? We are currently in the middle of December, and the Oilers are bottom last in the Pacific. We got to make some changes to the lineups. What? So I'm going to put Iman and McDavid together. Let's try that out. Kane on the third hall. Let's try hallway in the top line. I don't know, but I'm hoping not. Stats wise, for what? 8, 14, and 5. Leon Drysettle is leading our team in points. 31. So, point per game, Evander Kane's having an all right year. Connor Brown. Uh, like Brown, Brown and Hyman need to be better. That's where we're kind of getting a little uh, not enough offense. Nuge as well. Uh, Dylan Hallway, three goals. We're going to change things up a bit. Um,. Obviously, the deadline is when I'm going to try and make a trade. Our goalies maybe are not playing well. Um, try edit lines. They, they, do they swap through the season? I, I don't know. Goalies, let's try uh, Cant. Let's get Skinner in. Donkey and Duke. Donkey. Or Ben, Ben, good show, guys. He was on the last episode of uh, Better Late. Oh, where did I? Where, did I just back out of. Code? What? What? Oh, this is it. Okay. All right, so we, we fixed up the lines a bit. Dylan Hallway, we're going to try on the top line for a bit here. And 
see how we do because right now we're 18 14 and 5 and which i don't like to see please for the love of god don't be like you're live let's sim up to january all-star break oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord we're barely winning games here in december what's happening why are we brutal 12 16 and 7 oh now we're winning games I don't like this at all. Like we can obviously still make the playoffs. We're kind of like the 2019 St. Louis Blues, St. Louis Blues right now. 41 points. What is going on here? What is going on here? Maybe get Kane back up there. I I don't know. Um. Defense. Change it up a bit. Maybe it's Cody Cece. Bullies. I don't know why we keep going back to it. This is depressing. The Golden Knights are for. How are we so bad? Yeah, the deadline is coming up here. This this would give every Warriors fans a nightmare. I think this would honestly like be the nightmare. Where you know Connor and Leon they call Ken and like, hey, but like I want to mention that I don't want to put that into the universe. Um. Everyone wants Mad Fay Petrov. I'm okay right now. Oh, why are we barely winning games? Like, how did we lose 7 3 to the Arizona Coyotes? Okay, now we're winning some games. We're sixth in the Pacific. Oh boy, oh boy. It's a day before the deadline. We have 62 points in the Pacific. Oh lord, we gotta make a deal here. Simulate this day. We're gonna have to sim the next game. Um. We're a buyer, I think, right? Entry trade deadline. Which better was? Give me a, give them a speech, right? Right. All right. Who, who do we trade for? Mackenzie Weegers on the block. Teams interested in Edmonton. I don't know if I'm really interested in him to be honest. Patrick Kane is on the Blackhawks. Okay, no surprise. Um. Draft board. Uh, propose a trade. I don't want Mackenzie Weegers. No. Um, who's a good right defenseman? Neil Pionk. That'd be a good choice. I think the Jets might have a few players. Uh, Nick Letty. No, I don't want Nick Letty. That's a ridiculous deal. I found where the trade box is. Uh, don't worry. I, I, I cleared it, but still very hard to find. Um, but the Winnipeg Jets don't really want to give away anyone. <clears throat> Defenseman. Pionk. Dylan DeMello. Let's see if we can make a deal. Dylan DeMello. For Cody Cece. Is it a one for one? Can we make that deal work? I question whether you've looked at our trade block. Okay. I'll add in a... fifth round pick next year we are saving salary to re-sign our pending free agents here come the Nashville Predators offering me Tyson Berry I, I, guys I, I I don't have the salary cap for that look up Pesci's available that'll be difficult um Brett Pesci would probably be ideal. Uh, Brett Pesci, Carolina Hurricanes. He is 86 rated, but he does not have a lot of trade values. Four and a half, like four mil. Um, give us, okay, where's Cody Cece? 
I will give you... Cody Ceci. Philip Broberg. And a... Who's, who's matching their block? A lot of our top players. I don't want to trade. Um, draft picks. We will give you our... The second round pick. Salary cap. The Carolina have this thing called trade block. Thanks. Yeah. I, I don't think this deal is going to work. What if we give you also the 20? Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a fair deal. I think this is a fair deal. How much time do we have left? Okay. The clock's still ticking. Hmm. Now, our trade difficulty is on hard, so this has been a challenge. Um, I, I don't know. Defenseman. Eric Carlson. Um, who's a good defenseman I should try and get? Oh, I don't think the Leafs make a deal with me. Lilgren? Ah, oh, no, they're not. They're not trading him. Um, forwards. Defenseman. Well, that's the Maple Leafs. Imagine how Holland feels. This is probably how Ken Holland feels trying to make trades. Washington Capitals, they're not doing well. Ooh, if I can get the Capitals to retain salary on John Carlson. Okay. And... Give them Cody CC and maybe give them any other skaters matching their block. Maybe a Matt Faye Petrov. Okay. Okay. Adam Larson. Oh, I, I, Adam Larson would never come back to Edmonton. So let's, somewhat realistic, but Ekblad's a good show. But um, I don't know. John Carlson. Draft pick, second round pick. Can we get? Can we make this deal work? Josh Manson's a good show. Thank you. Three first round picks, maybe. Trade. Um, question is, if you looked at a trade box, but why is really on? Um, we could live with what you're sending us, but in this deal, your offer is woefully insufficient when I consider the value of what you're asking for return. Shit. Okay. We can give you next year's first round pick. Oh my God. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Maybe another forward. Three firsts. Yeah, I would as well. Um, wow, our right wings are... We have no other right wings that are okay quality. Uh, left wingers, anyone? Do I give up? A Warren Fogel? I, th I think a Warren Fogel can go. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, 8.27. When, when's the deadline? You know what? Fine, fine. We'll go see Josh Manson. Um, damn, uh, Colorado, Colorado, two next year, first and a fifth and a fourth typical life. Okay. Um, Kale McCarr, Josh Manson, 83 rated. This could be a deal that maybe works for us. I'll, I'll give Philip Roberg. I'll give them Cody Cece. And maybe a second. The 
this could work, but I don't know if it's worth it. Trade of sec uh, trade accepted. Okay, so we have traded Philip Broberg, Cody CC, and a second round pick for Josh Manson. Okay. Not not the bro. I I had to trade Broberg. I had to trade Broberg. We're not doing too hot this year. Um, how do we sim the rest of this year? Um, draft board, trade block, find trade. Um, would you like to exit the trade deadline? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, a typical life. Why would you tell me that? It's okay. We got Bat Boaki, right? Simon Benoit. What's his rating? I'll claim him. Because Broberg's gone. Um, play next game. Let's simulate this. Some period. He's simming these games is fine. Oh, Vincent Darren A scored. Got fleece boy. Oh my god, did I get fleeced in that? Let's go edit our lines. Waz should be fired as GM. Oh my god. Was that a terrible trade? Bouchard Mance. Like, I think this is a good. Not bad. And then the forwards offense. Oh, dry settles back with McDavid. Interesting. Okay. That bad of a deal? I don't think it was that bad. Hey man, I had to make a move. We're, we're fourth in Pacific. All right, we gotta we gotta make the playoffs. We are in March. So things are going to get very interesting here. Okay. 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 We're winning games. We're winning games. We're currently in a wild card spot, I believe. Let's get to the final week and a half of the season. Fucked. Okay. Here we are. We have like six games left. 85 points. We got Vegas coming up. Next game. Play next game. Simulate. All right. Vegas Golden Knights are very good in this game for whatever reason. I don't know. It's, it's like they won the cup or something. Boys were 28-26. This would be a realistic trade for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got the Coyotes coming up here. We got we got to beat the Oats. We're 38-20 and 6. What's or 9? Oh my god. Okay, that's we're trying to make the playoffs here, guys. We're trying to make the playoffs. Oh my god, we lost 5 1 to the Coyotes. We have four games left against the Canucks, Sharks. Oh, Jesus. This game is ridiculous. I'm making a roster from before I, I. I think I need to try a custom roster. Like, what is happening here? Well, I'm going to ask Ty if we trade Broberg in a second for Josh Manson. That does sound like a very overpay. I think you disagree. Um, make a roster from 24. I've dry is at 96. We're all new to the 90. Uh, I'm in is an 89. I have an 87. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. I I'm, I I'm hopping in. I don't want to miss the playoffs here. Jesus. 
I think none of my players have grown overalls either. There we go. Guys, it's the cup or bust year, right? Does anyone actually play against the CPU in GM mode? Or is it just me? All one every day will be live tomorrow, by the way. Oh Lord. I don't like how that se the season's been going. Also, I need to get the trainer mode off. Here we go. I play every game in GM mode, Dukes. I love that dedication. How you're injured. Ha ha. I don't think it's... Oh, okay, where's the power play? Where's the penalty there? Come on, Leon. Bro, play on total control. You can hit the Michigan with Derek Ryan, bro. How do I play with the... I might have to. I'm generally, like... Maybe this game is proving that you actually need a goalie to win games. Might be crazy. I think it's what... Also, I, I, should I play around with strategies in GM mode? I never play around with strategies. But I don't see anyone ever play around with strategies. Oh, and two boys. Arco. Good evening. How we doing? Buddy. Let me tell you, it could be worse. It could be this season I'm having with the Oilers. So the Canucks just uh, clinched a playoff spot, it seems. So that's what I heard from the commentators. Uh, I don't think we're making the playoffs in this game. I, I don't know. I'm going to sim the next three games. And see what happens. Because how are we losing every game here? How are we 38, 32, and 9? Okay. I, I think we can still get a wild card spot. The Predators have 91 points. We have 89. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. And we missed the playoffs. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, Con Connor Brown, I'd like to see. I think he's been quiet. Kane, I feel like we expect a lot more from. Um, By the way, 82 games. And McDavid puts up 60 assists, 41 goals. This is a fucked up season. I don't understand the simulation in NHL. We missed the playoffs, but the Sharks get first place in the Pacific? In what world? The Canucks made the playoffs? Let's go look at the Atlantic. 
Somewhat, somewhat realistic. I could see this. I could see this. Tampa missed it. Okay, odd. I think the Sens would not get last again. Um, Metro. A bit more realistic as well. I think the Devils would do a lot better than this. But yeah, this is realistic. That is laughable. This game's a joke. Central, Winnipeg. Entire league. 2024 playoffs, Michael. But yeah. Um, unreal. Who got last in the league? And Celebrini's not even... Kraken were the worst team in the league. <sighs> you know, I think that... You know what this means is we probably have to trade for a goalie. I think we have to trade for a goalie. Resign a few players. I think Holloway should be on the second line with Nugent Center uh, for the next season in this game or in real life. Uh, but I do think, I don't know, it's tough to say because uh, the third line with McLeod, they've got some chemistry going. And I don't know if like putting up Holloway's make things better or worse. Like, do we let McLeod and Holloway and Fogel gel a bit? McLeod and F Holloway especially, I think. I think those guys are got great chemistry. So... I'm going to sim until the end of the playoffs. I'm going to use the washroom. I'll be right back. You guys say washroom or bathroom. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Empire for Hire. Still in Hollywood. Trade for Sorrow, so I think it's a good idea. Thank you for that recommendation. Uh, I called it last season. I'm sorry to say. We're going to need another goal tennis soup. <laughs> Vegas Golden Knights win the cup. Vegas wins the cup. Oh, my God. This is the worst simulation of my life. Worst simulation of my life. Draft lottery, we get 15th. I don't even want this draft pick. We don't need it. Somehow McDavid hasn't requested a trade. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be in that world. Uh, view draft class. What are these, what are these guys looking like? Scarabelli. I say hockey. I say hockey. Interesting. Um. Well, there's actually one prospect I want. Jakob Chromiak. Um, Henry Muse? No, where's Tijiginla? Guys? Carter Yakimchuk. Uh, washroom is a public place and bathroom is at home. Okay. 
I think Campbell needs. A yeah, exactly. I want to wait a bit before we say, "Oh, we need a new goalie." <laughs> like I think two games is still a little small sample size, but obviously last year we. I don't. I think Campbell. I want to be a bit more patient with, especially. Um. Where's Tijaginla? I'll grab Tijaginla. Anyways. Vance. Two retired players. Um, Seabrook, Dubinsky. Irwin. And I'm ducks for more goals. Maybe we should have fired our coach. That's always an, that's an oil this move. Go to uh, draft class. Now nah, I, I want to draft. I want to trade my first round pick. We get to the draft. Start draft. Offer. Offer trade. Okay, UC Soros. Who said UC Soros? Uh, Nashville. Bullies. UC Soros. We're going for UC Soros right now. We will offer you Jack Campbell and the our first round pick. I think this is fair value. Do it. Michael? It might be on to something. Um, and how about... We'll give a fifth round pick. I want to give up a third next year. All right. Um, rookie skaters or go 76 rated. Raphael Voigt is 78 rated. I will give them Carter Savoy. But I think this is a good package. Come on. Oh my god. Might have to be two firsts, a hundred percent, which is fair. Cause I, I want to go all in next year. I need to make the playoffs. So I, I don't make the playoffs. That's a very bad look. It's going to be two firsts. Eat some of soup salary. Okay. Like 15% of his salary. There we go. Trade accepted. We may have given up way too much there. Fuck it. Um, sim options. Can we sim to my pick? Mm -hmm. I don't know if Tisha Ginla is going to be available. Um, WHL. Tisha Ginla. I really want Tisha Ginla available. He's a good prospect. Oh, come on, come on, we're almost there. There he is. Tisha Ginla. Draft. You should try to get Taylor Hall for the third round. Taylor Hall would be interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna trade him now, but well, I think our, I don't know how much he's making either. Ken Holland has too much faith in his goalies right now. I don't think he would make that trade. Yeah, auto draft. I'm done with this draft. I just want to Tish again. We got UC Saros at 
there. Um, let's see what uh, Tisha Gindle's uh, rating is going to be. <sighs> Sorry, Jack. All right, man. I wanted to keep you. I wanted things to work out, but. Free sign phase. Kyle, we're, we just finished our first year and somehow we managed to miss the playoffs. Um, San Jose Sharks, on the other hand, were first in Pacific, so take this with a whole grain of salt. What do we need to sign right now? Here's your Genla. We don't know his overall, but that's that's all right. We don't need uh, Warren Fogle. Do we bring do we bring back Warren Fogle? I don't know. Connor Brown will bring back offer contract. 3.8 mil. Same same thing as last year. Uh, Greg McCag, I don't think we need to bring it back. Matisse Anmark, don't bring it back. Um, a couple RFAs here. Carter Savoy, I'll bring back. I think we do, actually. I think we do have another first round pick on our hands. Uh, Cam Deneen, sure, I'll bring you back. Uh, Hoffenmeyer, I'll bring back. Please come back. Ma Benoit. 78 rated. Eh? Sure. 0.1. Dylan Holloway, we can bring back. Maybe two years. Two mil. Might be a bit much. Raph of Law, we'll bring back. Everyone loves Raph of Law. Well, maybe we'll have him on the top team this year. Gagne. How much can I... How can, 600k. I need two. Damn, I love you, but... I'm giving you two. Uh, Vincent Darnay, 1.3 mil. I'll give him... I, I don't know. Uh, goalies. Do we have to resign any goalies? I don't think so. We have... Well, Calvin... Well, we need a goalie in Bakersfield. Um... Ryan Fanti, I think he should be a higher rate in this game. Um, so. In terms of our skaters, anyone like get a higher overall? Here's your Ginla, offer a contract for whatever dumb reason. Um, you have Josh Manson still. Loud is an 80. Derek Ryan, Dylan Holland. I feel like players barely grow in Chell. Like, am I, do they not grow throughout the year or what? Oh, Darren A is going to test the market. Dylan Holloway resigns. Ben Watson's. Okay. Okay, Tish again signs with us. Tish, what's your rating? Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know you could do that, but thank you. Uh, Derek Ryan's 37. Um, Tisha Ginla, we still don't know his rating, I guess. Oh, Aki's a uh, 67. So. Uh, let's send the free agency. I don't think there's anyone... Resign phase to, needs to come back. How much do we have in terms of sal? Uh, we have 3.2 in uh, cap space, which is actually not terrible. Uh, who should we resign? Uh, Myanmar, Fogel not coming back. Like these got Day or Nail. I love you, man. Haven't been. Nemo, sure. I think I'll bring back. There we go. Hire staff. Like. Oh, interesting. Uh, Dietz.
the start of the season, I can give uh, McDavid a nine mil contract. Oh, interesting. Um. So free agency, we're here. We're at free agency. Um, Sam Reinhardt's a free agent. Patrick Kane is still the game. I don't want to give. Why is he? You're not. Patrick Kane should not be 89 rated. I'll be honest. That's ridiculous. Justin Schultz is available. So I think we need a bit more depth. Go we'll look at my. Uh, let's go see our our team right now. Team management. Um. Find a trade. Because here we are for left wingers in the organization. We have Kane and Hyman, nice. Right wingers, Connor Brown. Like I need a, I need a more like natural right winger. I feel. Um. Maybe another. Chard. Maybe another left or right D. I don't know. So. We have Simon Bono. Simon, I can't say that name. Um, bro, if you have the money, I would say get Kane. Some, well, probably. Like three mil left. I want to go to free agency and maybe get another right winger. Okay, I think we need more depth in general. Tyler Foley, how much do we have? We have 3.2 left. Okay, Corey Perry's available. No thanks. Bill Kessel. Josh Archibald. Seth Griffith. Well. Oh, we just had him, didn't we? Is there any like hidden gems in here? Oh, Nicholas Abe Kubel. That's a guy I don't mind. Is 81 rated. Um, are there any good like potentials here? I don't think so. Dylan's oh four point nine. I can I don't know. I'm okay. Yes, a pull yard. We bring him back. Um, left wingers. Anyone decent? Uryanov. That's an interesting shout. Carrier. You can offer dress content right now. See. If, oh, interesting. Actually, I'll do that before the season then. Svechnikov, Thomas Tatar might actually be a him. Thomas Tatar, let's see. Uh, defenseman. Dahan. The defenseman I can get for like under a mil. Uh, Miran Miran Amanov for you. Ah, uh, sure. Which goalies are available? I could do right defense actually. I just know that. Babro. Zaitsev. Ooh, that's bold. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll offer him. We're just gonna send out some contracts. See who accepts. Um. Someone said the Oilers should go after Zaitsev, maybe. Uh, the Bruins, thank you, decline. Chandler Jets, uh, I'm willing to offer, I'm very happy. Okay, thank you. I mean, uh, Zaitsev, Zaitsev joins, Tatar. We somehow managed to sign a few players. Press RT, go down, and then we'll show everyone that you can... Oh, thank you. This is giving me a lot of tips. I appreciate that. Um, actually, if I can make one trade, don't think I'll be able to get him. But to add a little bit more depth and clear up some salary. The Coyotes. I think we're over the salary cap. We're just. Oh, the salary cap went up. Am I blind? Matias Michelli. I love this guy. I don't know if I'll be able to acquire him. But I 
Bro was 48. Did, did, did I sign a 48 overall player? Did I miss something? Who was I signed that was 48 rated? Or is that his jersey number? Um, they want maybe I'd, I'd offer Xavier Borgo here. Uh, Borgo for maybe. Draft picks. No. Okay. You know what? You know what? We don't. We don't need to make this trade. We're okay. Exit. We seem to be okay. Like, like, yeah. You can go view contracts, and you can give. Oh, okay. Um. What rating is Nick Dowd? I'll grab Nick Dowd for the Oilers. He's a good fourth liner. Centers. Nick Dowd, 80 rated. I think this is a guy that could actually work for us. Centers. Hmm. Derek Ryan's with like a right winger, yeah. Left wingers. Drake Kajula, I will offer him. And maybe like a six round pick. Jesus Christ, I can barely make a trade for Nick Dowd. Maybe not Drake Kajula then, fine. Left wingers. Maybe defenseman. I, I don't know. I've been watching me play franchise mode is tough. Oh, you know, sim up and this could work. There we go. We got nicked out. I like it. I like it. We got nicked out. I'm the weirdest person in the world, but um, also I did not look at the champions or the who got more points than McDavid in this year. Jason Robertson, McDavid, interesting. Point scoring is very low. What is this, 2011? Um, also, how far did the Sharks go in the playoffs? The Sharks went to... Well, they got eliminated seven games to the Avalanche. Uh, it was a Maple Leafs versus Golden Knights final. Wow, this game good. It's all right. I mean, I, I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more. Um... It's a little different compared to 23, I would say. Like the controls for sure. The controls are, you'll notice a small difference, I think. But anyways, uh, let's sim to the regular season. Sim the next season. I gotta change my trade block. Decline and edit trade block. I don't want these guys on my trade block. Stuart Skinner, why are you on my trade block? Thank you. Oh, edit trade block. Trade Nurse for Hampus Lindholm. I want to try and win with Nurse. As ridiculous as that sounds. Derek Ryan at 37 is going to play another year, which is great. He has not decided to retire. When you're offering a player a contract, always give them 85% of what they're asking for. It's the lowest they'll go with it. Oh, good to know. Thank you, Kyle. I mean, honestly, let's see here. Garnet Hathaway. That's an interesting pick. They, uh, they 
Uh, free agency. We're in the middle of August now, and people are still at, like, I don't get it, man. How much salary do we have? Cap space, we have 2.3 mil. Are you serious? I, I don't know how. Um, overalls, who's still available? Lindgren. Brad Hunt. Oh, Redeem Zahorna. Fine. I don't know why. I just really enjoy saying your name. Probably a dumb choice. Um, asking price, 900. Okay. I'm just trying to look for like some depth options, maybe. That's all. Incoming trade. No, they're just trying to dump salary on me. Like, I don't know how I have two mil left. Um, no. Oh. Yeah, Redeems the Horna joins us. Cool. Matthew Joseph. Martinuk. You want me to sign him? He is actually a good shout. Does he have a team right now? I don't think so. Bottom six. I just want my organization to have a bit more depth. Single. All right. I, I, I just want to get to the regular season point. Sim to next season. There you go. Done. For the preseason, I don't really care for preseason, right? So, I don't think a preseason really matters at the end of the day. Also, I'm not sure if anyone answered this, but do players actually grow in NHL 24, like during the season, or is it? I seem to never see players develop, or do I have to like put a training session on them, like in FIFA? There we go. Edit our lines, the 24-25 Oilers. Okay. Dowd, like this is not looking too bad. On defense, we've got Bouchard, Echo, Manson, Benoit, Zaitsev. Um, actually, hold on. Offense. No. Oh, Dylan Holloway's there. But. There we go. This is what I like to see. Hey, Dylan Holloway doesn't grow. Alright. Defense, I think, is alright. Um. So I can still sign players, hey. Team management. Two lines. Of view contracts. Dry cycle. Coming up here. There you go. Easy. Now, let's see how far we go with this team. Just go like all the way, I don't know, trade deadline. Oh, we've already lost. We've already lost two in a row to start the year. To be fair, this is like the right Oilers in real life. We lost two. In a row. Um, but we started out pretty well, actually. 
October is going very good for us. Six and one. Three and one, I think. But we're much better here. I wonder how many points with McDavid. Because I heard McDavid gets more points in the second year than the first year in National 24. Which I don't know why. Some of these scores are ridiculous. I feel like I should use like some of these custom rosters people make because I find they are more accurate than EA's rosters. Nothing wrong with that. Oh god, this is not going well. Actually, we're third in the division. This game is so weird. I don't get how the Oilers or sometimes your simulations are brutal. Like, I don't know how people... Uh, is it possible to have an accurate sim in this game? I don't know. Or, like, project it to real life? Sh Kevin Shattenkirk. No, thank you. One thing I normally do to get 84 or less overall, guys, is to give lots of... Yeah, draft picks is, like, an easy hack, but... Once again, I don't know how to grow young players in this game. Like, obviously, ice time helps. Like, my players don't really grow in the AHL or junior, it seems. Uh, it seems like we're actually having a really strong year compared to last year. Um, there we go. Get rid of the trade deadline. Let's see how we're doing. Um, Drysdale's got 81 points in 64 games. That's actually ridiculous, I think. Um, we're second in division, so this is a little bit more realistic so far. Like This is like what how the league should be going. Uh, I'm not going to make a deadline day move. I think we're okay. I'm more interested about the playoffs right now. I, I'm okay. I don't need a deadline day move. We don't really have much to offer anymore. We got UC Saros. Um, come on, can we can we get first in Pacific? It's tied between me and Vegas. Come on. There we go. We made the playoffs 46, 29, 7. Not a great record for a second season, uh, but we made the playoffs on like last year. Uh, Drysdale gets 95 points in 82 games. What ha what's happening here, EA? What is happening here? Uh, McDavid, 90 points. Uh, Nugent Hopkins, 78. Like, what is this? Um, our top goal scorer for the second year um, is Kane McLeod. Thomas Tatar. Thomas Tatar, 10 goals. Dylan Holloway, 10 goals. Nick Dowd, 8 goals. Josh Manson. Did all right. We, we, uh, who who got the most points in the league? Now, I did put simming on medium, so it does explain things a little bit. Um, entire league. Uh, Nikita Kuchov, 110 points. Ovechkin's still scoring at, what, 37, 39? Uh, bro, I did a 10-year solo sim. I only won one cup and had really good team. It's weird, man. I Connor Bedard with 90 points. Bedard in his second season gets 90 points. Nick Suzuki. Um, David and Bedard both get 90 points. Bedard was 52 goals as well. Interesting. Um, all right, let's see how the league did. Because we got second in the division, of course. Vegas is slightly above us. Anaheim made the playoffs. Nice. Uh, the entire league. Dallas. Okay. Anyways, I think we're going to take on Vancouver in, this, in the second round. Hey, as I say, winning the cup isn't easy. Vancouver versus Edmonton round one. I won't lie. I would love to see like a Vancouver 
for this first round. I think that'd be very fun to watch, but also kind of stressful. Vancouver's not been fun to us. So we're going to quick sim the first three games. Nice, nice. We're currently crushing them. So at this point, let's see how things go. And we 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 move on to the second round. 4-1, we crushed the Canucks. Connor Brown with seven points so far. He's carrying us. Now we play on we take on the Anaheim Ducks. So I think the Golden Knights are out. Unless they're uh Yeah, Golden Knights are out. Wow. So Although last time the Oilers and Ducks met in the what? second round it was not great so but oh thank you trip king and we have swept the ducks now we move on to the third round can the orders win the cup in their second year with me as gm we take on the colorado avalanche in the third round it's a rematch of 2022 let's go So, oh, oh, we are, come on, one win away from the Stanley Cup final. There, we are going to the Stanley Cup final. We have two losses so far in the playoffs. Come on, baby. Come on. I am going to turn on the uh, game volume just because I think it'd be kind of exciting if we can win the cup and see how that goes. Um, OBS. Okay, there we go. I don't have game music on, but Ryan Nugent Hopkins currently uh, leads the team in points heading into the Stanley Cup final. Um, let's see who we take on in... Here we go. Florida Panthers in the finals. Interesting. I think we can, I think we can win a cup here. Um, and aligns. Sim told you Sor Soros was the key to winning the cup. It's funny someone said in the finals, Oilers and Canes, and I said I wasn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, six. If the final is Edmonton, Carolina this year, I'd lose my mind. It'd be like flashbacks. But good. For I don't know. I think it'd be good though. Anyways, we win game one of the fa final. So that's good. Good start. Nugis is having himself a playoffs right now. Um, oh, oh, yeah, that common game two hero. We are now heading into game three with a 2 0 lead in the series. All right, sim game. We're up 3 0. We're about to sweep the series, I think. The Oilers could become Stanley Cup champions here in our save. Okay, here we go. We're going to game four. Let's just quickly kind of sim it. Sim period one and two. Okay, we're gonna. Try to hop in if we can. It's one run, one one right now. Okay. Let's see if we can win the orders the Stanley Cup in Florida. Now remember, I'm not great at I'm not great at NHL. Of of play. For those so, of you just tuning in now, better late right, here than we go. And we are all tied at one. So they could score and I could lose. Oh, it's a brutal turnover, Leon Dryso. Spencer Knight's in that. Okay. Nice got it, and we'll hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled, and he's 
How's the, how's the game volume? Is it a little loud? Let me know. Oh, yeah, that's probably very loud. I'll turn that down. Yeah, I'm trying it. There we go. Oh. Evan Bouchard. Easy. I, I need to turn off trainer mode on. I need I need I need to turn off the trainer mode. On um, pro, you sure can. Oil making too many hail Mary. I agree. I, I mentioned that earlier in our stream. Stream actually. David to dry OT went over the cup. Uh, on pro, you for sure you can. Um, it was perfect. Now we can barely hear it. Oh, okay, good to know. Interesting. Uh, hold on. Actually, I'm just gonna change the game settings. Um, on ice trainer. I want to turn this off. Is there a way to turn this off? Off, off, off. I 100% I agree with you, typical life. Especially Woodcroft. I don't think we should fire Woodcroft. Especially this, like... Come on. There we go. Nick Dowd. Nick Dowd going to win the Empton Oilers of Stanley Cup? Harder for Hagee. Seven seconds left. We're going into overtime. Oh, darn now shoves him into the boards. That's what we love to see. Power play. Things sounding good, guys? Game one was fine before. How is this now? Hello, Dreg89. Turn it up a bit, actually. There we go. I think it's half. All right, we're going to OT. We have a power play. I haven't really been focusing too much, but this could. This, I wish we could win at home almost. Lockwood, William Lockwood. Nick Dow taking the opening face off in OT. Too quiet. Interesting. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're good. Oh, UC Saros. Good. Get that to Brown. Connor Brown. Oh, God. That's, that's Evander Kane in real life right now. Bouchard. Back on the Oilers. Kool-Aid loss. We're about to make it even better. By the way, is there a second season? If you're just tuning in, we are in our second year, year with the Oilers in this uh, franchise mode. We somehow missed the playoffs in the first year. I think it was because of goaltending. Nick Dowd, I hope we can get him. Teams are calling for him, like Frank said. Connor Brown. Evan Bouchard. We still have a power play. We should be able to score here. Guys, what did we give up for uh, UC Soros? Uh, was it Jack Campbell, our first round pick? Um, I forget who else. But it was in, it was during the draft because somehow we had a really bad like first season, and then I I just okay. yeah okay. I, I think I just want like David and Dry so to score the winner. So. It was two firsts. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I was I missed Doc Emmerich when he was the voice for NHL. He was really oh, dry. What was that turnover? Nice.
I have. I, there's not been no good scoring chances here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We needed a goalie. Jack and Stu just were not doing it for me. Nuge? Oh, Jesus. Oh, the is it, come on, Nuge. Nuge to win us a cup would be... Crash net. Who let Barry Trotz cook? God. Yeah, I don't know. That, like, the first year was really weird. Commentary is... Yeah. Obviously, I think... I, I love the old NHL games commentary, but those commentary, commentators... What was it? Who was it? They just got a little old, quick, like repetative. But they've been changing the announcers way too much in recent years, I find. No consistent. McDavid wins it! We've done it! There you go. Connor McDavid wins. <laughs> That's what we love to see. Thomas Tatar, Martinuk. Beautiful, beautiful. Evan Bouchard gets to Con Smythe. Three goals, 18 assists, though. Let's imagine this is 2024, not 2025. Yeah, Gary Thorne was that. There it is. There, there she is. Lord Stanley. All right. I haven't seen the presentation in this game for the cup. There he is, Connor McDavid. Wither Clips is joined at the right time. Please, God. Please, God. Let this be this year. That's what we love to see, Connor. Our first cup together. Our first cup together. Jay's punching the air right now. <laughs> uh, who gets the cup next? Where's Ryan Nugent Hopkins? This is some bullshit. Uh, Leon Drysell gets the cup next. I makes you want to tear up almost there. Right yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we do we not do we do not do we uh, do another sim? Uh, who gets the cup next? Zach Hyman. We took care of exactly. I know, why is Nuge not an option? There you go. Zachary Hyman. Where's parade mode? I want to do a boat parade during the uh, down the North Saskatchewan. I love how these are all players. Like aside from Bouchard, these are all players that are not actually on the Oilers. Um. And it's the winner's turn to get the there we go, Bouch. Which is weird because Nugent Hopkins is like one of the top scorers in this uh, sim. I'm so underrated. I think he's actually properly rated, honestly. I, I had injuries turned off. So it's very weird how this is just like a small bunch of players. Oh, there, there, there's everybody. Yeah, there's Nuge. Look at that. Oh, look at that beard he's got. There you go. There you go. Although the only unfortunate part is I don't have Derek Ryan on this team. That kind of pisses me off. This is cool. I, I like this little cinematic they have. There you have it. The 24-25 Edmonton Oilers. Nicholas Abekubel gets a second Stanley Cup. Nick Dowd's in there. Yeah. Raphael Lavoie's in there. Okay. Okay. 
And there you go. We've won, we've won the Stanley Cup. Bounce back here. All right, let's see the leader in points for the playoffs. Um, we got no, these are not playoffs. Uh, team player stats. We swept the P Panthers. Wow. So Hyman, twenty-one points. Bouchard. There's Nuge. I saw Raphael Lavoie. Did anyone see that? Raphael Lavoie was on the team, but he's what? What? Excuse me? Honestly, and someone suggested the trade for Saros. Rookie skaters? How did Saros even play in this playoff run? 936? Oh my god. Damn. I do want to see how, like, Raphael Lavoie... Was he even on the freaking team? I don't think so. That's so weird. I'll be right back, guys. I need to wash them real quick. All right, we're back. I don't know if I do another sim tonight, but the salary cap also, I, I, the salary cap goes up in this game. I didn't notice that, honestly. Um, what's another thing I was gonna check? Oh, pop, back on. Um. Let's see here. What am I gonna do? How's my organization doing in general? You draft class. I don't think there's anyone like Nick Backstrom, Nicholas Backstrom. We could have a good night. I'm, I might have to head off here too. It's a, I try to stream it for like two hours. So, and this is usually when everyone tends to go to bed. Tomorrow's Monday. I want to see, uh, oh yeah, swap teams. Progress reports. There we go. Shard is a 87. Skitter is an 84. Cloud's an 80. Oh, come on. Cloud should be 82 by now. Why didn't Derek Ryan play any games? Um, in the system. This is what I want to look at. Raphael of Lost 78 rated. Zahorna. Um, Savoy. Right, interesting well guys i'm gonna call this a stream it was a lot of fun actually winning the cup and first year was really weird and then we, we ended up winning it all the next year so i don't know when i'll be live next just because uh, i, I kind of play it by year depending on the week and when warriors play I might, maybe of course next sunday so take care guys i really enjoyed this legends Take care. And tomorrow, Oilers Nation every day, real life, lots of lots of content on the go every day here at Oilers Nation. So take care. A lot of fun.